Hi, Lift Guy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the uh, max speed threshold and ramp for a genie lift using WebGPI. And in a previous video, I showed you how to hook up WebGPI to your boom. So in this one, I'm going to start out as you just got it hooked up. And all right, so today I got a S45 hooked up, and First, we're going to focus on how to get there. So you got it hooked. You just got done hooking it up, and first thing you want to do is go to boom. See, right now I'm going to do uh, the lift function, so that'd be boom up or boom one on this one. So next one we'll do is valve, and you'll see here a bunch of uh, parameters you can adjust. Well, the first one, output minimum, this is your, and actually in parentheses here, it shows threshold. All right, so threshold is the first, the first point at which the boom starts moving, the speed that is, the slowest that boom can possibly go, that's your threshold. And I know I've been noticing a lot on the newer um, genies, the genie likes sending it, to, uh, sending it out to the customers with the threshold set, in my opinion, too high. So when you're trying to like, basically if you're eight inches from a wall and you want to creep up to where you're only three inches from the wall, you, it's, they getting that three, getting to that three inches is very difficult because you try moving the boom very slowly and it'll actually take off on you a little fast and you'll let off. And so it's very clunky in my opinion. And to smooth it out, what I've been doing is lowering the threshold. And the best way to make most of these adjustments, in my opinion, is to get the boom nice and warmed up, take and get in a place where you can move around, and then I set the computer right on top of the basket there's on the control box. You have a place that, uh, that the cover there, I set my computer right on top there, holding it down so it doesn't move around. I take and make an adjustment. So for threshold here, right now we have the, uh, Threshold set at 450 milliamps for up and down. And in my opinion, it's set right now, this boom is set good, but I wouldn't go by that number in the least. At, I mean, I wouldn't go by that number at all because it's gonna, it's gonna matter. This is quite a bit, this is an older boom. It has 12,000 hours on it. So that, that setting right there is good for this boom. Whereas you get another boom that maybe has 6,000 hours on it, you're gonna want a slightly different setting. I'm not saying it's gonna be drastically different. Maybe, maybe it can be uh, 400, 400 milliamps, or maybe it'd be 600 milliamps. You never can tell. That's why it's good to be able to do adjustments for each boom, whether it's new or old. And like I said, the, a lot of the newer booms the Genie's been sending out, in my opinion, are very, they set them up very clunky. They're not smooth, so going in and adjusting the threshold is usually the very first thing that I've, I've been doing so that you can basically, if you want to, you can creep up on that wall so you can get as close as you want without being afraid of hitting the wall. And that really matters if like for the people who do glass installation. So the next one we're gonna do is uh, sp speed, the max, the output max in milliamps. So this one is set at 1426 for up and for down, they, usually for up and down, they do it different. It's different milliamps. It's just how it is. You taking it I, with all these, you basically you want to adjust it to you what you think is smooth for your application. So those are the two for threshold. Is the beginning the the very slowest speed, and max output. And I don't recommend you know going and making it super fast because you could get somebody hurt. You gotta always think about that when you're doing these adjustments. And the next one we're gonna look at is ramp, which is you look over here under boom one, ramp, and this is still for the lift function only. So you take in, uh, basically this one's set at 300, 3000 milliamps. I'm sorry, not milliamps, milliseconds. 3,000 milliseconds. So the point where you take and get that boom lifting at full speed and you just let go, 
The time it, the, from the time you let go and that, that joystick hits center to the point it stops, that's, the, that's this adjustment. And it's the same way for if you're, uh, as soon as you, if say you're, you take and grab that joystick and go from center to full up, that's also on this, the ramp adjustment. And how, it's how long it takes for it to get from a dead stop and then you to push the joystick and for it to go to full speed is that's the adjustment and depending on depending on the application you may want less less ramp or more ramp so then just you gotta do this by feel and that's why I always put the computer right on top of the basket and make adjustments and then try it out just more so and you gotta do it for your application and it's really that simple with the web GPI and I'm doing left if you go to boom 2 this is for uh, see uh, it's weird I don't know why they put extended retract because this is S45 so it doesn't have a uh, joystick for extend and retract it don't, you only have two two things you can adjust at least with the joysticks on the S45 you have uh, lift up and down and swing left and right so I'm not sure why they're they're labeling it mislabeling it but just it's little things so after you get done uh, you take and put in your chain make your changes so I'm gonna take and just change this the ramp on this one to 3001 not really a big deal you gotta hit send and basically that takes and sends it to the computer your new uh, your new adjustment okay and for this this boom when I hit send it's not asking for a code some booms will actually ask you for a code and you can look it up in the in the uh, service manual but here it is I'm gonna say it and I'm also gonna put it on the screen it's a capital SG81355 and it's the same for every single machine if it asks for a code you just put it in there and you have to enter level level one I believe it is or so taken you enter you enter the code in and then you uh, click on the you know say a box will pop up and it'll say enter a code you enter the code and then you take and click your level and hit enter and you only have to do it once for for the machine for you know when your each session you only have to do it once so this is it's that easy with the web GPI as opposed to doing it through the uh, e-stop in the uh, swing enable switch I think this is a much easier way of doing it and I will be uh, doing more videos on different things you can do with web, web GPI so if you follow me on YouTube and Facebook you can see the see more and you can comment and make suggestions on things that you'd like to see about the uh, lip boom lifts or I mean all the aerial lifts alright thank you